the great flood, God told Noah and his family to be fruitful and multiply on the face of the earth. And Noah's sons had many descendants, like Shem, Japheth, and Ham. Story of the Tower of Babel. tend the camels. When am I ever going to get some excitement? Look, a caravan. There'll be a real feast tonight. And the city is big. And it's beautiful. Even when the desert winds blow, it's completely safe. And the livestock, they are always secure. And you know why? Because all of the buildings are made of stone and brick. Really? I've never seen a house made of stone. Asif, what are you saying? It is something to see. I wish I could show it to you. <laughs> yes, it is true that a city built of stone is strong. But here in the desert, the winds blow away disease. And if you want to, all you have to do is fold up your tent and go wherever you like. And if food becomes scarce, you just move to a land where there is more food. How do people who live in the city move their stone houses? <laughs> they don't move them. The stone houses can store food and they keep their water in cisterns. So there is no need to worry about famine. And in the city, there are men who have iron to make weapons. And there is money to be made that makes more money. So you see, the city is a fabulous place. Uh, tell me. Uh, do you think you could take me to this stone city? Awesome. to run off without a word to your father? You can't just run away from your clan, my son. The story that the caravan leader told last night, it was like a dream. If you were to go to that city, you would be all alone and without work. You could even lose your freedom and become a slave. That may be true, father. But I want to go and see the city. Asif, that merchant and that city have stolen your soul. 
But if this is to be a test of your character, then go. Asov. But remember, my son, you must never forget your father, your brothers, this tent, or the Almighty who created heaven and earth. Once we get to the city, there should be many things to eat <laughs> that are a lot tastier. going to go. Get out of here. Go away. <laughs> oh, it is perfectly all right. Why don't we tell him? Thank you. It's such a high tower. Yes, it is quite incredible, wouldn't you say? Uh-huh. The people up there look just like ants. I wonder what's on top of the tower. <laughs> At the top, it is a veritable earthly paradise. From up there, you have a bird's eye view of our entire glorious city. I want to climb up there too. Ah, unfortunately, we cannot climb up the ziggurat so easily. The ziggurat? Yes, it means a temple. The tower that stands before you. Our God dwells at the very top. Hmm. But we shouldn't be able to see the Almighty God. And that's what my father told me. God speaks to us without appearing. Don't be a fool. The God who is enshrined in the ziggurat is made of fabulous jewels. He is the richest of gods. All right. I wonder what it's like at the top.
thought I was gone for sure. Huh? Now I'll be able to see this earthly paradise. Money? What's money? This is money! In my village, there is no such thing as money. If someone gives you fruit, you will work for him. If you give someone a sheep, he will give you a cape to wear. If you do not have any money, I cannot give you any fruit. How can I get some money? <laughs> you must work! How else do you think? I must work? All I need to do is work. Ah, uh, I'm so hungry. Young man, ah, do not be afraid. If you are hungry, then come with me. You are not from the city, are you? No, I come from the desert. The desert is good. You should return there as soon as possible. But I won't. I think this is a wonderful place. This city is filled with deceit and arrogance. The god of this city is made of stone. The true god is a flame you cannot see. An ocean you cannot touch. A force you cannot resist. The Almighty cannot be weighed like a stone. And his might is fearsome. My father said the same thing. But still, I would rather stay here. You're not all bad. You've got some good points. If you really want to work, you can start on the level just above this tomorrow. All right. The wind is really strong up there. Be careful. I've lived all my life in the desert. I'm used to the wind. That's good. I did it. I'll get to the top for sure. Come back down here right now. Think it's possible to build this tower so high that it will reach the sky? What's that got to do with us? But it's so huge. Stop your work. What kind of arrogance believes in stone gods and builds towers to heaven? The true God Almighty is in the desert. What are you saying, you old goat? Seize that man and throw him out. none of our business. Forget the tower and leave the city now! Hello? Are you all right? Good. Please take this. I owe you this from before. What are you doing? Why did you come back here? I listened to what you said today. It was just as if my father was speaking. Why do you not return to your father's tent? Because I like it here. 
You still do not know what kind of place the city is. The Lord God Almighty will punish those who have the audacity to think they can build the tower to heaven. Operations have been completed. Good. This cigarette will soon be completed. It will be a demonstration of our power to everyone on this earth. Begin. Yes, sir. Listen to me. What do you want? I am an emissary of God. I have come to convey the word of the Almighty. All right. Say what you must, and then leave the city. The Lord God Almighty has seen your arrogance, and the Lord will bring his punishment down upon you. This is what he has said. The people are now all one people who speak the same language. I will come down to earth and bring confusion to the language. The people shall cease to understand each other and I shall scatter them over the face of the earth. The language of man shall become a babble and a great confusion shall be brought down upon them. Now, go from here, you filthy old desert rat. What you say is impossible. Nothing but absolute nonsense. You believe that your God is stone, and you have made your God with chisels? But the Lord God Almighty existed long before you, or your ancestors, or even before this world existed. This is it? This is the earthly paradise? A desert. Nothing more. This is no earthly paradise.
God punished the people with a great confusion of tongues, and the people were forced to leave the town of Babel, each tribe going a different way. For from that time on, each tribe had a different language. I am your father. Don't you remember me? Father! Asif! I'm so glad that we still speak the same. 